This was a duel that I was super sure I lost. I was like, oh, I lose. And then okay. I didn't. It was nice. Zombie World. Okay. Yes. Zombie oh, World says everyone is no longer Cyber's type, and that is oh, God. Yeah, that's really bad, bad for Dan. <laughs> I, I love the zombie deck. The zombie structure deck came out um, with like Glow Bloom and stuff like that. And I really like cards like Doom King, Balrog. I think they're really strong. Unfortunately, the zombie deck, I never really felt like it, it could do enough to be helpful to But there's a prime example of a card that's like, this card is just waiting to be great. Right. It's so, such a strong card. The only reason I win this deck, is uh, this deck, this duel, is because of what you just said that the deck can't do enough. Uh, this guy has a really nasty effect that says when a zombie monster activates its effect, that would be me, um, you could apply one of these effects, but you can only use each one of them once. So the first time I play a zombie, he can DD Crow me or banish my guy right off the board. The second time I do it, he can Valor me or do that in the other order. The fact of the matter is, if I normal summon a Chi Chi, he can Valor it or let me search, but banish it right off the board. <laughs> and then like, okay, I searched, I'm screwed, uh, your turn. So <laughs> like, not looking yeah. great, especially with this in play. So uh, <laughs> just, wow. I, I know for sure that I've got no hope if this is not gone, but I'm not gonna yeah, scoop, wanna... gotta play. So obviously, First things first, maybe I get Lightning Storm. Nope. But, but you I did, did draw AI Contact. I did, with another field spell. So, unfortunately, AI Contact has to shuffle this one back, which means I won't be able to set it over the other one if I do draw a Lightning Storm. So now I'm hoping I see Duster specifically, uh, and I see the Lightning Storm. Ooh, <laughs> so, that, that just, that's just Yu Gi Oh at its finest. Yeah. Right? And it also turns off the impermanence, like just oof. Oh, the impermanence would have been good too. Either one of those cards. Yeah. Now, so, this can turn into summon yellow, which is the new plan. Yeah. Yellow getting the field spell means I could set the field spell over the field spell and then potentially lightning storm him. No, you can't, if, because you still control a monster. If he, he uses effect two and banishes my guy off the board. Yeah, yeah. If he doesn't, if he just uses the Valor effect on it, I can go into infant. And then Infant, he could use the second one and banish Infant off the board, and Infant would search for the field spell. I could set it out of the field spell and still Lightning Storm the zombie world off the board. So yeah, this is kind of a case of where you're trying to bait your opponent into making what looks like a good decision. Yes. That then frees you to play. But like, sometimes you just have to do this in a What in a I need him to do happen. is use the banish a monster off the field effect. If he uses that now or second on the Infant, either way, these two, between these two, I will get the field spell I need and no longer control a face-up card. Yeah. So, he activates the first one, stops my search. Nice guy, cool. So, Infant will now be able to get a field spell, and if he banishes the Infant off the board, I'll be able to play the Lightning, board, the lightning Storm. It's so tempting, especially when you see that... Um... You can still special summon the guys from your hand, right? I can. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, so it makes sense to banish your... Okay. But yeah. he doesn't use the banish, which means no lightning yep. storm for me. He just, yep. he did that as perfect as he possibly could have. He negated the more powerful search, did not banish the card off the board. He played around lightning storm, whether he knows he did or not, <laughs> like, he, he pulled that off. That said, I've played through the negate so far, just not the banish. So let's get a couple of guys in play. That was the special and then the normal, because I used Island to special yellow first. Mm -hmm. Assuming it was going to get banished anyway and that I wasn't going to be able to quote unquote get my normal summon back with Delion. But. Ah, you're going to move my Wind Pegasus and uh, challenge the field spell. Yes. And again, that effect does not negate, only the first one does. So I do lose the Wind Pegasus, but he loses the zombie world. And from here, all of a sudden I'm playing Yu Gi Oh again. Yep, and as soon as Agnistos gets to uh, play Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't understand why this deck isn't more prominent on the ladder. It's so disgustingly good. I guess it's just a case of like, it takes a while to learn the combos, and the freestyle is when you get into... Like, the combo itself isn't that challenging. It's the freestyling that you kind of got to 
jump the hoops you got to jump through when things don't go according to plan. Yes. The Gachiri is insane, Meaty. Uh, it's it just basically makes your access code talker al I'm almost 100% gonna uh, land a kill. Yeah, and play. Yeah, I guess that's also true. It's like uh, one of the viewers just mentioned like we're playing. If you go, if you choose to go second, you've got to play for your opponent's setup, and that's actually a lot harder than doing the setup yourself. Mm. I prefer playing through an opposing setup than I do actually setting one up, mm. because then I kind of feel like I need to know my opponent's deck uh, to know where the break points are to leverage my negates. Whereas if I go second, I just know what I got to play through in order to kill them. 